Alpha, Omega, Ancient of Days, Daddy, I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I want to thank you for your power, for your glory. I want to thank you, God, for what you're set to do. I want to thank you, O oh God, for your majesty. Daddy, move on this holy mountain. Do what you alone can do. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my God, Daddy, there is nothing we can do without you. And so, Daddy, we are calling you, eternal rock of ages, we are calling you. We are calling you, first and the last, we are calling you. We are calling you, beginning at the end, O oh Lord, manifest. O oh Lord, let your power and glory appear. Do what you alone can do, Jehovah. Honor and glorify your name in Jesus' name. Rebuke, O oh Lord, rebuke, O oh Lord, rebuke. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end. Rebuke the devourer for our sake in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your will alone be done. Everyone that will come, O oh Lord, unto this holy mountain, Daddy, I am asking and I am pleading in the name of Jesus Christ that let everyone that will be on this holy mountain today to call upon you, Jehovah, to pray and not to play. Everyone that will come to pray and not to play. Let every man have an encounter. Let every man have a testimony. Let every man say indeed that they have met with Yahweh. Because indeed you are the first, you are the last, you are the beginning, you are the end. Nothing that you cannot do in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, O oh God, for the power of prayer. We ask for the power to supplicate. We ask for the power to pray, prevailing prayer. Pray and receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, through your servants, true men and women that will come upon this holy mountain today. Daddy, use us. Daddy, use us to shame, O oh God, every principality and power. Use us to uproot every generational, every generational in Jesus' name, generational play, generational pain, generational shame. Lord, use us to uproot in the name of Jesus Christ and use us to show that, Lord, you are a prayer answering God. Let every, everyone that will come onto this mountain and testify that you are what a prayer answering God indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory. Thank you for what you're set to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name alone be honored and glorified on this holy mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and do what you alone can do. Come and do what you alone can do. Ancient of days, Alpha Omega. Come and do what you alone can do beginning and the end. And let your name alone be honored and glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, take your place, O Lord Jehovah. Ancient of days, take your place. Alpha Omega, take your place. And let your honor alone be seen on this holy mountain as we decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, on this holy mountain, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, rock of ages, move, O Lord, and let your name be honored. We give you praise, we honor you. Thank you for men and women that are coming onto the mountain to pray today. Thank you, O God, for, your, for the move of your power and your glory. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I've decreed, Amen. Praise God, hallelujah, praise God. I want to thank God for every man of God. I want to thank God for every woman of God. I do not take anything God is doing on this mountain for granted. I do not take anything God is doing on this mountain for granted. I want to thank God for his power and glory. I want to thank God for the selection of God for this particular broadcast. And I believe that everything we are going to do today will be to the glory and honor of the name of God Most High. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything we are going to do. Everything we are going to do today is going to be to the glory and honor of the name of God Most High in Jesus' name. Everyone that is on this mountain, I plead with you, open up, open up to what God alone can do, okay? Open up to the glory of God, open up to the power of God, open up to the grace of God, and let God use you in Jesus' name. Please, this today we are here to pray and not to play, meaning I'm pleading with every man God has sent onto this mountain to release themselves unto the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit wants to use you today to achieve the glory and the honor and the praises of the Alpha Omega beginning and the end. So please release yourself on this mountain. Kindly do so. Release yourself and let the power of God flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are going to start straight away with the first P, which is praise and worship. And I believe that as we praise the name of God on this mountain, the glory of God, the power of God, the mercy of God, the grace of God is going to manifest like, 
like we have never seen before on this mountain just because we make ourselves available for the Holy Spirit to use us in the name of Jesus Christ. I need somebody to join me to prophesy. I need join somebody to join me to testify. I need somebody to join me to say I will testify because God wants you and I to testify in the land of the living. I will testify and I believe you will testify also in Jesus name. I will surely testify. I lift my voice to say and testify today lift up your voice and say to the Lord say I will testify to you thank you Jesus somebody under the sound of my voice today we are looking at the reward that God has in stock for the wicked. Somebody join me to type the reward of the wicked. Please, somebody type the reward of the wicked. I am so sure that this reward of the wicked, the wicked cannot escape it. They cannot escape it. God has a reward for the wicked. God has a reward for the wicked. And the wicked cannot escape that reward. In the name of Jesus Christ, God has a reward. And I will be sharing with you the reward of the wicked from God's point of view. I'm going to be sharing with you very soon the reward of the wicked from God's point of view. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hope somebody is ready for what God is about to do. I hope somebody is ready. In the name of Jesus Christ, join me straight away on this live broadcast as we start to what? Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ. Join me. Join me as we plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Reka ba 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 ba. Reke dele gedele. O zake telimo. O raba e treleke mantosi. Libra delimo. O kada limo si katali. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Man of God, plead the blood. Rabba gadala gaba. Zeke telimo si kaba. Plead the blood. The power of God is here. The reward of the wicked. Somebody, you are going to see the reward of the wicked. You are going to see the reward of the wicked that God has in mind. Hallelujah. The plan of God for the wicked. Ma shandalaba. Indreleketelio. Ma kotoso. Ozake lebantali. Rabbababa. Delicatelio. Somebody, please forget about any weight in your heart now. It's time to connect to God directly. It's time to connect to God directly. God sent you here for a purpose. God sent you here for a purpose. Jagadalagaba. Rabba Gadalagaba. Jagadalagaba. Reke deleba dalimo. Reke delimo sikaba. O rabba baba. Telimo so kateli. Rika delimo. Play bro. Sake. Bashan talimo. Put in prayer. Put in prayer. Put in prayer. Prayer. Man of God. Woman of God. Put in prayer. Prayer. Rabba katalimo. Plead the blood. On this mountain, our tradition, the first thing we do is to plead the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. As we plead the blood, we we plead the blood, we plead the blood, we know that the blood is speaking in the spirit realm. We know the blood is speaking. He's speaking for you, the blood is speaking. He's speaking for me, the blood is speaking. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus. Ragadalagaba, ragadalagaba. Plead the blood in Jesus' name. Rabba telemo sikaba. Lebra ke telemo sikaba. O rabba shantalimo. Lebra ke telemo sikaba. O rabba delicatali. Re baba e delicatali. Listen, man of God, listen, woman of God. There is a reward. The way God view things is totally different from the way we view things. The way God handles things is different from the way we handle things. And most times a lot of people get so, you know, confused or they get so, they get so troubled or alarmed. They get troubled or alarmed just because the formula they have in mind is not is not really what the formula God is following. So they get very perturbed. They get very disturbed. But let me tell you, God can never say he's going to reward the wicked and fail to reward the wicked. And today the Lord will be opening our eyes to see the reward of the wicked. You will see the reward of the wicked. What God is planning for the wicked Consigning you, consigning me, consigning us. Libra da la gaba, roba katosi kaba, jenteli ban katalio, ora bakado li matali, jeke teli mosi kaba. Somebody join and say the reward of the wicked. Makayos, o la bakada, the reward of the wicked. Naga da la gaba, ibra katoso, o zanteli ban katali, mikaye bali mosi kaba. Especially every wicked that is around, that is thinking that our God has gone on sabbatical, or the wicked that feels God has a abandon us. They are going to be surprised. They are going to be astonished for what God is going to do very soon. For God, what is about to do, what God is about to do in the name of Jesus Christ. 
us wherever you may be allow the spirit of god to use you right now share the broadcast if you can share the broadcast in jesus name share the broadcast on your wall in a group in groups somebody put in prayer please put in prayer prayer please put in your prayer mandate somebody put in your prayer mandate in jesus name put in your prayer mandate very quickly bara gadala gadala reba katali put in your prayer mandate 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 mad delicate you Put in your prayer mandates in the name of Jesus Christ. Your prayer mandate, put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer. Somebody join me and say, Lord, give me the power to believe. Somebody join me, say, Oh Lord, give me the power to believe, to see, to see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living can somebody join me and say lord help me to believe help me to believe to see the reward of the wicked in the land of the living to see the reward help me to believe now you need belief before the reward of the wicked can manifest in your environment in my environment in our community in, our, in your community you need to believe somebody we don't believe enough if you watch some of these people who serve other gods you will be you'll be astonished the way they believe in their god you'll be astonished they, you'll be astonished i was speaking with with my dearest sister the other day and then she was you know she, we've spoken about a lot of topics but there was this particular topic i can recall she was confessing how somebody who was worshiping other gods that what is standing out for me in this broadcast right now is the way she said that the man was so confident the man was so confident of what will happen and he, he called on he called on his son and told the son he said watch and see what will happen at at so 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 day watch what will happen he was so confident he was so confident that there was a reward coming he spoke so boldly he spoke so confidently he spoke so you know so 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 affirmative affirmative you know in an in an affirmative way i mean to say you know affirmatively that's the english i'm looking for he spoke affirmatively he said just watch so 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 day and watch what will happen he was so sure he was so sure this is somebody serving other gods and he expressed so much belief so much belief saying that he knows that what he's worshiping will not fail him somebody we need to ask god to grant us the grace to believe a lot of people serving the most high god the most powerful god the real god the faithful god the one that never fails we are not expressing enough faith or belief in god we are not expressing enough faith bible says that that the enemy the devil that he is afraid of god and he trembles but how many people truly that worship god is afraid of god and trembles some people take God for granted. They don't even believe. If you tell them that God says going, there's going to be a reward for the wicked, they say, I've been hearing that for a long time. Some of them will tell you, do you know how long I've been, I've been praying? Do you know how long I've been believing God? Do you know how long I have trusted? You know, they start to say things that would really put a lot of, you know, that would put a lot of question, you know, in one's heart. Oh Lord, help me to believe you against all odds somebody join me help me to believe for me and you to see the reward of the wicked for us to see god step you know into the parenthesis for us to see god step into the bracket and act in all capacity we need to express belief we need to express belief that was the case in egypt in egypt the israelites were praying but because of course i cannot blame the Israelites because they've been praying now you know it's been several years 400 years they've been praying and praying so they've got into this kind of ritual they've gotten into this kind of ritual that they don't think god really can answer prayers or they don't really think that their prayers will be answered look if you're on this mountain and you have this kind of understanding or default and you're thinking that you've i mean you've you say look bro i've been believing god for 10 years now look i've been believing god for 25 years now look i've been believing god for the for the past five years now the five years or 25 years in the eyes of god might not be up to one hour 
I hope you know that God exists in the timeless. I hope you understand that God exists in the timeless. We are the one existing in time and in eternity. Bible says, and we can, you, you, if you have seen, stumbled on such scriptures, that a thousand days is like a day. A thousand days like a day. A day is like a thousand days before God. So God, you know, God moves and expresses His sovereignty at, at the realm of the what of the of a realm that is timeless. Hallelujah! But we exist in the time frame, so we need to ask God for grace to believe. First thing we want to ask is to believe. Is to believe what am i trying to say who is that person under the sound of my voice who is that person under the sound of my voice what am i trying to say somebody say what is apostle trying to say well, somebody say apostle fire just tell me apostle fire and i will tell you what i'm saying in a simple language in a simple language i will tell you what i am saying in a simple language i know you i know somebody is trying to connect what where is he going what is he trying to say what is, what, what is Apostle trying to say? Just type Apostle Fire and I will tell you exactly what I'm trying to say in a nutshell. I will tell you, hallelujah. We are praying that God give me the power to believe. God give me the power to believe. I've seen the first Apostle Fire. I just need one more and then we can go. Praise God because in Matthew 18 verse 19, he said two shall agree as touching a thing. Another person just type Apostle Fire and I will tell you what I'm saying in a nutshell, in a simple form, in a simple term. Hallelujah. I see the second Apostle fire praise god church what i am saying in a nutshell you might not have thought of it this is the scriptures and i am not lying i speak under god and i speak affirmatively may i tell somebody who cares to know that this my bible is about it's not less it's about 21 years old this bible is about 21 years old so just enjoy the bible with me it's about 21 years old now now what the scripture is saying there is that the first reward god gives to me and you the first reward God gives to us is the reward of believing. See, let me tell you, one of the rewards of the wicked is that everything that they are going to do in your life to stop serving God, you will not stop serving God. That's a reward. You might not look at it that way. It's a reward. Why is the enemy attacking you? Why is principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places, why are they posting sicknesses? Why are they posting, you know, diseases? Why did they bring the pandemic? Why did they attack Job? Why did they attack Joseph? So that Joseph can consider to sin. So that Joseph can think God will not answer and consider to sin. So that Job will wonder and say, I serve God in righteousness. Why am I going through this? What kind of God am I serving? How can God reward my righteousness with evil? So the first reward of the wicked is for God to give you the power to believe irrespective of what you are going through. I simply mean Romans chapter 8 from verse 31 to 35. I mean Romans chapter 8 from verse 31 to 35. That is the first reward of God for you and for me. Okay, that's the first reward of God for you and for me. When the enemy is trying to pull you down, when the enemy is trying to tear us down, when the enemy is trying to put on unbelievable doubts in our heart so that we start to question God. You know, some people say question everything, question everything. Look, when you question God, you have made the enemy to achieve their purpose. The purpose of the enemy is for you to question God, is for you to question everything, is for you to scrutinize, is for you to carefully scrutinize, wearing your glasses, or using the binoculars, or using the microscope or the magnifying glass. They expect you to read every letter from God, to read every word from God, and take time to scrutinize it, and question it, and say, God, I have followed this word letter by letter, but I have not seen it manifest first in my life somebody it is time for us to pray and not to play and we have started to pray and not play we are saying god give me the first reward the reward of the wicked that is give me the power to believe irrespective of what i'm going through irrespective of what i am passing through because the plan of the enemy their project is to make me stop believing god their project is for me to question god once you question god that is it they wanted job to question god they wanted Job to question God. If you are God, why am I going through this? If you are God, if I'm serving you in truth and in spirit, and you are the rewarder of them who diligently seek you, why am I passing through this? That is the plan of the enemy. But the first reward is that God will make myself and you resilient. God will make myself and you, you know, is so strong. We ignore. 
He's attacking us and we are doing as if we are not feeling it. Like Jesus did on the cross. Look at everything they did to Jesus Christ. The first reward of the weekend was Jesus did not choose to back off from the eternal assignment. He's the one when God asks who shall go, who can we send, who will go for us? Jesus said, send me, I will go. And the devil said, we will make sure you don't accomplish it. Somebody, I am telling you the reason for that attack in your life. They don't want you to accomplish that purpose of God in your life. They want you to question God. Once you start to question God, you are not, you are not, God did not tell you, come and question me. In the book of Isaiah, he said, come, let's reason together. Let's reason together. When you start to reason with God together, that is another reward. I'm coming to that very soon. You see, they don't want you to reason with God. They want you to question God, to challenge God, to question God. Say, are you really God? Are you really God? Can you see my suffering? Are you listening to me? Are you a prayer and scream God? Somebody is a faithful God. Leba Gadaleo is a faithful God. Mare Gadala Gadala Gaba. He's a faithful God. Leba Etalos. Ora Gadala Gaba. He's a faithful God. Ibala Tali. Mara Delio Suka. O Baroko Tosikaba. You are a faithful God. Jean Italio. Matozi. They want you to question God. They want you to question it. They want you to question it. Every time you're questioning God, heaven is celebrating. Heaven is throwing a party. Hell is throwing a party. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Hell is, hell is, hell is throwing a party. Heaven is wondering, where is his belief? Romans chapter 8 from verse 31. Romans chapter 8 from verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? How will he not also through him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justify it. It is God that justify it. It is God, it's not your works, it's not my works. Verse 34, who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, he is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Hallelujah. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? This is the great project. This is the project of the enemy. I'm reading, I've read verse 32, 33, 34. I'm on 35 right now. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? That is the plan of the enemy. To separate me and you from the love of Christ. To disconnect. That is it. They want us to disconnect from the love of Christ. They want us to disconnect from believing God. So the first thing God will do as a reward that will astonish them and leave them perplexed, it will make them to be so mesmerized, is that you will never stop believing. You will never stop believing. I will never stop believing. I will never stop believing. I will not question God. I will not doubt God. I will not question God. I will not doubt God. I will not sit analyze the workings of God. I will not sit down to analyze. I will just believe. I will just believe. I will just believe. The world is fast depending on human reasoning than to depend on the wisdom of God. The world is drifting. The world is drifting towards the world. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 and 3. The world is drifting towards the world. But we are supposed to, through the word of God, mortify. Through the word of God, upgrade the deeds of our our body we are supposed to be leaning through the word so when you lean on the word you don't question god that's the first word you you don't question god and you don't get disconnected you don't get disconnected somebody type the word i will not question god i will not get disconnected the the first reward you will not question god in jesus name you will not stop believing you will not stop believing because once you question god the next thing that will follow is to disconnect is to disconnect 
people start to act in a funny way. They start to act, you know, they start to backslide. They will not pray again. If they were praying for two hours, they will reduce the prayer to 30 minutes. You see, it's because they are questioning God. And by questioning God, they move to the next level of disconnecting. They are now not feeling the joy when they are praying. They are now not feeling the joy when they are preaching. They are now not feeling the joy when they are praising God. They are disconnecting. That's the next thing. So when God stops myself and you and gives us the grace not to question him, there it frustrates the power of you and I disconnecting, which is the major product of, of the enemy. And that's what verse 35 is saying. Who shall separate? That's the main place they are going. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall distress, shall persecution, shall famine, shall nakedness, shall peril or sword, shall all these things separate us from the love of Christ is the question. But the apostle later answered in verse 38, Romans chapter 8 verse 38, for I am persuaded. Somebody at the end of the day, God will give you a reward of being persuaded. So I'm like, I'm moving very fast. Please pardon me. I'm moving very fast. Let us type the word. I will not question God and I will not get disconnected. I will not get disconnected. I'm coming back to read Romans chapter 8 verse 38. I needed to read Romans chapter chapter 12 verse 2. We need to see something in Romans chapter 12 verse 2. The wall is the wall is fast. The wall is fast depending on human reasoning. And we need to take we need to be very careful. It sounds so logical, but let me tell you, no matter how logical it sounds, it's not theological. It's logical, but it's not theological. It's not in agreement with Rema. The Logos is the documented word of God, the recorded word of God. That is like for your Bible, the scroll, and what have you. But the Rema is the revealed word of God. When God tells you, go and read Psalm so 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 verse this. When God tells you, go and, go and open the book of so 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 and study verse that. You, as you study it, you start to find out that that verse is relevant to your circumstance and situation. That one we call Rema because it's a revealed word. See? So even what the world is doing they say it's logical logic does not even come close to what to even the logos the logos the word the documented word of god logic is not what you need at all we need the revealed word of god look at what the bible says in romans chapter 12 verse 2 before verse 2 so that you understand i mean this is what god expects myself and you to do verse 1 but look at verse 2 is what most people are doing it says and be not conformed to this world okay people are gradually conforming to the world okay in mathematics we say when the y the x tends towards zero when it tends towards zero now bible is saying that myself and you should not tend towards the world we should not tend towards the world don't think like the world don't analyze like the world don't see things from the point of view that uh, the world will see you know don't analyze don't use logic a lot of people are using logic they're using philosophy a lot of things they are using logic and philosophy you see these things we don't need it we don't need it at all it's not even a, it's not even part of what we need at all we don't need, we just need the word of god we need the word of god we need praise we need prayer we need you know praise prayer and the word we need prophecy now the word of god people don't know that the bible you are carrying is prophecy because once that word that word you're carrying we call it prophecy why because that word contains documented truth of you and me how we originated so it contains your past and that is word of knowledge it contains the present and the future and that is the word of wisdom so the bible you are carrying in itself that's why you can call it bible or you call it the book of prophecy that's why they call bible the book of prophecy because with that bible you can spy into your tomorrow with that bible you can look into your future with that bible you know where you're coming from you can understand where you're coming from you understand a lot of things that are in complex we just need the word of god i don't know how to explain this anymore all we need is the word of god and not the world be not conformed to the world be not conformed to the world be not conformed to the world but be ye transformed this is where we are going trans Transform. A lot of people are not giving up themselves to be transformed by God. You see, when the transformation takes place, this is what makes the wicked to, 
to want to co to commit suicide, to kill themselves. One of the transformation is that no matter the pressure on you, you will not question God. It takes a transformation to get to that level. Honestly, it takes a transformation. And once you're not questioning God, you cannot disconnect from Him. You can't disconnect from Him. That's where you can use the word. That's why the apostle used the word in Romans chapter eight, verse thirty-eight, to say, "I am persuaded that not death or anything can separate us from the love of Christ." It's only though it will be truth. It, this statement will be true for those who have transformed those who have transformed those who are no more feeling anything in the flesh they are not living in the flesh they are not feeling anything in the flesh they have transformed somebody join me the next prayer i was saying oh lord help us each day to transform to conform to transform and conform to transform and conform bible said that there was a mount called the mount of transfiguration this was an insight to what the word of god will do this was an insight to what the holy spirit can help the church to become when we stay in the place of prayer when we stay in the place of you you know, praising God. When we stay in the place of prophecy or the word of God, we start to transform. We start to transform. We start to transform. Jesus transformed so much. Oh, oh God. <coughs> Jesus transformed so much that the disciples, when they saw the transformation, when they saw the transfiguration, they were like, we, no need for us to go. Let us remain here. Somebody, I am telling you, when the Spirit of God takes over, when the Spirit of God take over and take control, when the Spirit of God take control and take over, people will be wondering, is this you? Even you will be asking yourself, is this me? The way a manner prayers are answered, the way a manner you are fulfilled as a person, even under so much attack, even so much under so much persecution, the way you are moving on as if nothing is happening, somebody join me and say, Lord, help me in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, help me to transform. That's what Bible says. You can't fake it. You can't, a lot of people are faking to be children of God. You can't fake. It will take you transform. It's like turning, moving a male to become a female. You say that's not fake. That is a real change. That's why I use the word transform. You will be totally different. There is no bearing between your present you and the past you. The present you is a 100% reform. 100% not managing, not state managing, not cut and join. It's 100 reformed. It has no bearing with your former you. That's why I use the word transform. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So what is feeding your mind? What is feeding my mind? What is feeding your mind and my mind? That's why I said that a lot of people these days are tending towards the worldly kind of behavior because their mind is being fed by things of this world, philosophy and all those, you know, um, uh, all these hypotheses and all these theories. Their heart is being fed by such. And that's why transformation is not possible with philosophy. I hope you know. It's not, transformation is not possible with psychology. This kind of transformation we are talking about, the magnitude of transformation we're talking about is not possible with philosophy psychology or any form of fallacy all those kind of lies profound theories and you know and all kinds of you know hypotheses you will not achieve this transformation we're talking about this one is only attainable by the renewing of your mind through the word of God, that you may prove that which is good, which is acceptable, which is the perfect will of God. If you are able to prove that which is good, that which is acceptable and perfect will of God, that is one reward of the wicked. That myself and you will stay in the place of prayer, stay in the place of praise, stay in the place of the word of God or prophecy. We stay to a point whereby we are renewed, we are our mind is renewed, such that we say, like, like the three Hebrew boys who say, I mean, I want you to imagine the state of this, this guy's mind when they looked at the king and said, Oh, king, we are not careful how we answer you concerning this matter. I want you to imagine the kind of mind they have. I want you to see the reward of the wicked in that capacity. City. Who are the wicked? The wicked are those who went to the king to say that, that the king should make a law against, against those who are worshipping the true God. Those are the wicked people. Because they wanted those people who worship God to die. They wanted them to be killed. That's the wicked. But they did not mind. They did not mind. They did not question God at that point. They made them to know that their mind are so transformed. To die is gain. To die is gain. To live is divine. 
To live is divine. To die is gain. The three boys says, excuse me, if it has to do with bowing down to this image, we do not care how we respond to you. We are ready to that. I mean, I want you to check the transformation in that mind. If anybody tries it this day, they are going to tell the person, why do you want to, why are you proving so holier than thou? Why are you proving that you are more spiritual? This is not a matter of being, proving that one is more spiritual. It's a matter of transformation. They said, look, we cannot see ourselves bow down to this image. No, the new us is it can never comply i mean it's not possible you see it's it, there are certain things human beings have created that cannot do certain things it's not possible so far on this earth for a motorbike to revise it's not possible it's not possible for you to put it in reverse and then move like you move a car in reverse it's not possible a car can move in reverse but a motorbike so far for now cannot move back like that they said look listen where we are standing we can't move back to bow to an idol it's not possible we are ready to die this is the kind of transformation we're talking about because they are able by the spirit of God since their mind is renewed they are able to prove what is good they are able to prove remember the word p-r-o-v-e they are able to prove what is good they are able to prove what is acceptable and perfect will of God they are able to do it within split second somebody if you get to this level of transformation you'll be able to know what God wants you to do within a split second you don't have to wait on the Lord for hours. It's a transformed mind that can catalamba know that. It's a transformed mind that can catalamba know that. That can be done within seconds. These guys did not go to think. They didn't say, give us three hours to deliberate. Give us one hour to go and think. Right there and then, and all of them had, you know, their, their thoughts synchronized at the same time. The three guys, their thoughts synchronized. One did not say, I'm ready to die. Two say, no, me, I'm not ready to die. Oh, okay, King, me, I will bow. Three of them said the same thing at the same time for you to know how their mind has synchronized. Transform mind. Somebody ask for a transform mind. Ask for a transform mind for your children. Ask for a transform mind for your family. Ask for a transform mind for your spouse. Ask for a transform mind in Jesus' name for anyone and everyone around you. Ask for a transform mind for your community. Ask for a transform mind. We need a transform mind. We need a transform mind. The mind that will not want to cheat another person and call it smartness. They say, I outsmarted him. That kind of mind. We need we need a mind that has that is different. The mind of Cain was able to kill Abel and not feel any remorse. But it's different from the mind of Cain that was praying to God in Genesis chapter 4. We need that new mind that prayed to God in Genesis chapter 4 and not the former mind that was that killed Abel. You see, the mind of Saul when he was killing Christian, we don't need that kind of mind. We need a renewed mind. We need that mind that is able to prove that which is good, that which which is acceptable and perfect will of God, like the mind Saul had in Acts chapter 9 after encountering Christ. It is a mind that has been transformed. We ask, Lord, give us that mind. Give us, help us to be what? Renewed, to transform and be renewed. Re be renewed. You know, the renewing of the mind. Renew our mind. If your mind is renewed, you will, you will ask God for forgiveness, questioning God. Who are you to question God? Who are you? Esther did not question God. These are the kind of mind we are talking about. Esther was ready to die. He said, if I die, let me die. We don't want those minds that will say, oh God, why should it be now that I became a queen? I've been suffering all my life. I did not have this kind of challenge. But now I just became a queen. And now we are having this challenge. A lot of people say, God, why me? Oh Lord God, why my son? Oh Lord, why, why my daughter? Oh Lord, why my family? Oh Lord, why my loved one? Oh Lord, why me? No, we are not here to say, oh Lord, why me? God punish the devil. God punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil. It's not the time to say, Say, why me? It is the time to say, Oh Lord, your will, your will, and your will alone be done. We're asking for the power for what transformation. Oh Lord, transform and renew our mind. Transform and renew our mind. That's it. So that we are able to prove that which is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. In a split second, Ruth did not think about it. Ruth did not think about it. He said, Do not do not persuade me to go. I'm going nowhere. Okay, do not. I'm going nowhere. Look, this is what is before you, Naomi, is saying, he said, I'm not going nowhere i am serving your god i want your god i want you and i want your people within a split second i'm telling you the kind of mind that is renewed this is not a mind that i have will say forever knows right there and there and say this is the will of god for me knows this is the will of god for me this is good this is perfect and this is the the will of god for my life hallelujah 
Hallelujah. The good, acceptable, and perfect will. You know it in split second. In split second. And you don't mind even if it means dying. You're saying, so be it. So be it. I'm not backing down. So be it. I'm not backing down. I'm praising this God no matter what. Somebody put in prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. If you have this kind of mind, then verse 1 would not be a problem. What is in verse 1? He said, I beseech you therefore that you present yourself unto God as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. If you do not have a transformed mind, if you do not have a transformed, if you have not been transformed, and your mind renewed if you are not being transformed and your mind renewed you cannot present yourself to god as a living sacrifice it's not possible it's not possible because you question god it's not possible because you would disconnect you would disconnect and say look i've been serving you lord this while but i've not had anything imagine our father abraham after 25 years god answers him and asks him bring your son for sacrifice he did not question god he did not question god he did not question that statement he did not i'm talking about what makes you and i stand out in the spirit realm the first reward against the wicked is the fact that myself and you believe God even after all what we've gone through that nothing can separate me and you from the love of Christ is the first reward of the wicked it makes them confused it makes them perplexed it makes them wonder what exactly is going on why is it that we are not able to pull this person down why come we have not been able to make this person you know relent in serving god relent in the place of prayer how come we have not been able to achieve the set goal of making this person blaspheme against god Somebody join me and join me and say, Lord, grant me the grace to present myself as a living sacrifice. That is another reward. They expect you to withdraw. They expect you to stop serving God. But you start to serve God even more. You start to commit to God even more. I mean, that is a reward that you might not think of, but that makes heaven happy. That makes heaven to rejoice. That makes heaven happy. That makes heaven to rejoice. That you are not withdrawing even after... X amount of years, five years, 10 years, 25 years, maybe, you know, you're still believing God and say, I know my Redeemer live it. I know it will come true for me. That is a reward that God has in stock for the enemy. They cannot fathom why that should be even after all the persecution. They cannot understand why that should be even after all the attack in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody under the sound of my voice, how many will stand up like the Lord Jesus Christ and face the cross till the very end and use the language which it is finished somebody it is finished who will use that language it is finished what more do you have powers of darkness what more do you have against me what more can you bring it is finished it is finished not a wonderful reward it is finished because i am not disconnecting somebody join me and say oh lord help me not to disconnect Help me not to disconnect. Whether I understand or not. Whether I understand or not. Give me the power not to disconnect. Give me the power not to disconnect. The enemy wants to disconnect you. The enemy wants to disconnect me. The enemy wants to disconnect us from hearing from the Lord. From hearing from the Lord. I will not disconnect. You will not disconnect. We will not disconnect. I say you will not disconnect. I will not disconnect. We will not disconnect. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will not disconnect. I say you will not disconnect in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not disconnect. Like Paul spoke, you are going to speak in Jesus' name. Paul spoke after encountering with Christ. He was transformed. That was the reward God had for the enemy. He was transformed. The wicked could not comprehend that transformation. The same Paul that was persecuting now became Paul that is populating. The same Paul that was persecuted now became Paul that is populating. The same Paul that was persecuted now became Paul that is populating heaven. The same Paul that is persecuting became the same Paul that is populating heaven. God can use you and I beyond our imagination. It's a beautiful reward that the same Paul that was being used by the wicked to persecute is now the same Paul God is using to populate. The same Paul that was used by the 
wicked to persecute the Christians, to kill this Christian, is the same Paul. God did not change that same Paul. God used the same vessel, Paul, but this time to populate heaven and called him a chosen vessel. Called him a chosen vessel. The reward of the wicked. I see God using you. Contrary to what the enemy is calculating. Contrary to their evaluation. Contrary to their equation. I see God replotting your graph. I see God replotting your graph through a route that they cannot comprehend. I see God replotting your graph through a route that they cannot comprehend, they cannot calculate. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no other reward that is more exciting to heaven than using the same soul that was used to persecute Christians to populate heaven. There is no other sweetness heaven could gain from that event rather than, you know, rather than to use the same Paul that was being used to tear down to build up. The same Paul that was used by the wicked to tear down. God used him to build up and at that point Paul got to the point of it is finished. The Lord told the enemy, the wicked in his life, it is finished. Somebody connect to that language, it is finished. What else can they do to you? Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. The same source, the same person in Mark chapter 5, the same person that the demons were living in his body, the demons were living in his body, the demons were doing all kinds of things in his body, and making him to eat cups, and make him to, you know, to stay and and shout on the mountains and do some you know some demonic rituals the same body when transformation took place somebody today don't leave this mountain without transformation because that is one of the reward against the wicked when transformation took place in the same body the same body that was inhabiting thousands of legions of, of, of spirits thousands and legions of spirit the same body jesus commissioned the same body after the demons were commanded to leave that body the same body jesus told him go to your family tell them what has happened to you the first person that received the go command the first person that was commissioned to preach the word the first person the same person but he was only able to preach the word after transformation he was able to preach the word after his mind has been renewed Bible said that everybody saw him sitting down. Everybody saw him sitting down in his right mind, in his right senses. It, I mean, I'm using that man with the legions of spirit to explain the word of transformation. Everybody knew something has changed in this man. Somebody under the sound of my voice. As my God brings the power of transformation into your life. As my God brings the power of transformation, transformation into your business. That's the only time your business will start to set up other businesses. That is the only time your business will start to set up families for good. And set up their destiny. You see, when the transformation takes place, hallelujah, in your life, that is when you are able to fulfill purpose and destiny. Somebody, I see God taking you somewhere. I mean, this man that was full of legions of spirit ran towards Jesus Christ. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? How much persecution are you going through? How much attack are you going through? Instead of questioning God, you should run to God. You should run to God. You should not disconnect. Rather than disconnecting, you should connect to God. The man with the legions of spirit did not run away from Jesus. Did not run away from Jesus. He ran towards Jesus. He ran towards Jesus. Rashake dele, ebrake telimo, mosake delimo sikaba, rabba baba. Somebody do not disconnect. Rather run to. Connect to God, somebody. Connect to God. Run towards God. Don't run away from God. The man with the legions of spirit, he, he ran towards God. He ran towards God. He did not run away from God. He ran towards God. He ran towards God. So rather than you disconnecting, connect to the Father. Connect to the Father. Connect to the Father. Somebody is time to connect in the name of Jesus Christ. As you run towards Jesus, one thing you're going to experience as you run towards Jesus, Jesus. One thing you're going to see as you run towards Jesus, you will see that Jesus never pushes anybody away. Jesus will never turn you down. Jesus will never push you away. Jesus will never turn his back on you. Jesus will never say he doesn't know you. Somebody, the enemy wants you to question God, but rather than questioning God, run towards him. Run towards him. Rather than disconnecting, 
Connect in a very powerful way. Connect in a very powerful way. Man of God, woman of God, connect right now. Connect right now. Connect to him. Connect, man of God, connect. Connect to the Lord. Rakem de libratoso. Rakem bratalimosi. Jege de limoso katalie. O ragaba baba. Lagada lagaba. O raba baba. Lagada lagaba. Connect to God, man of God, connect. Connect to God, woman of God, connect. Connect to God. The power of God is here. The glory of God is here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rather than questioning God. Rather than question God. Raposo. O sakede. Ibrale manto. Ko rabake telimosi. Rather than questioning God. Connect to him now in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing can separate you. Nothing can separate me. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Connect right now, man of God, connect. Connect right now, God, woman of God, connect. I say the man did not run away from Jesus. What is that persecution? What is that attack? We were reading Romans chapter 8 from verse 31 to 35. And we're saying, what can separate us? What can separate us from the love of Christ? What is that thing that can separate us? And we made it very clear that nothing can separate us. Nothing can separate us. Nothing can separate us. One minute house. One minute house. Somebody put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer, prayer. The power of God is here. What can separate you? What can separate us? Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing can separate you. Nothing can separate me. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Baro sake ne brake delie o bakato sikaba o rabba baba jake telimo sikaba o la dele ketele the man ran to Jesus and found Jesus the man ran to Jesus and found mercy somebody today the Lord is saying I should tell you if you run to God rather than disconnecting which is the plan of the enemy rather than disconnecting if you run to daddy right now if you run to him if you run to him you will find mercy you will find mercy you will find mercy you will find mercy there are some people under the sound of my voice you might not be able to run to the father like paul like paul did not run to the father the lord organized somebody to go and meet him the lord organized that ananias will go and meet him and reformat him and help him to renew his mind hallelujah the lord sent ananias to where he was to say go and renew his mind i'm giving you two methods that the mind of a man can be renewed by now the first one which i'm using mark chapter 5 the man ran to jesus christ and right there and then jesus prayed jesus released the decree and his mind was renewed everybody who saw him knew that he was a different person that transformation has taken place everybody knew and Jesus gave the same body that was being used by the power, power, power of darkness. Okay? The same body that was used by the power of darkness. Jesus said, go and tell your family what God has done for you. <coughs> Jesus said, go and tell your family what God has done for you. Go and tell them what God has done. And so the man was the first person to receive the go command. The go command, the, the, the command to evangelize, okay? The first person. So go tell your family, tell your people what God has done for you. The same person that was used by demons. The same person that was used by demons. The same person. Hallelujah. The same person that was used by demons. Now God is using that same person to speak about his, his, his word. That's why we're saying I will testify. So I'm coming to that because that's another reward. That's the reward of God to the wicked. The Lord will give you a testimony. The Lord will give you a testimony. That's another reward. 
That's why the Bible says we overcome it by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of our testimony. It's part of the reward of God. When you refuse to disconnect, when you refuse to disconnect and your mind is renewed, that so much that you are able to prove what is good, acceptable, perfect will of God, then you will testify. That's another reward. So you are not disconnecting, you are rather testifying. We are not disconnecting because the works of the enemy has, has finished. Then you start to testify. This is God for you. It's so interesting if we understand how the Lord works things too. So in Mark chapter 5, the man ran to Jesus Christ. He met Jesus one-on-one. -on -one. There are people on this mountain. If you come to Jesus right now, one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to meet with God one-on-one -on -one, and you're going to receive deliverance. You're going to receive deliverance. If you meet God one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to receive your deliverance here and now. If you come to God one-on-one, -on -one, you will receive your deliverance here and now. Then there are another set of people, Shaka Talabo. There is part two. There is part two and that is the people that fall into the cadre or the classification of Paul. They fall into the cadre or classification of Paul. What do I mean by that? The people that fall into the cadre or classification of Paul, God will lead them to a particular place and lead somebody else to come and help them to, to transform and renew their mind. Okay, God will send a man of God, God will send a word, God will send a prophecy. That's another method. So God led Paul to a particular place and then spoke to Ananias to go and minister to him in Acts chapter 9. So there are people, somebody is sharing this broadcast only for you to come into this place for your mind to be transformed and renewed. You see, only for you to be transformed and for your mind to be renewed. So there are people God will connect. God will connect. There are people that will connect directly, that will run to God. There are people God will bring somebody that will speak or invite them. So Ananias was told by God he's a chosen vessel. Somebody under the sound of my voice, when you see all those persecution in your life, when you see all those attack in your life, it's because you are a chosen vessel. It's because you are a chosen vessel. That man that was being that, that was possessed in Mark chapter 5, they possess him to disconnect him from God because he's a chosen vessel. There is a chosen vessel. Somebody under the sound of my voice. When you notice too much persecution, when you notice too much attack, it's because you're carrying something. They want to uh, they want to make sure that you question God. They want to make sure that you are disconnected, such that you are not happy to flow with God. But the more you trust God, the more you do the will of God, the more you carry on, the Lord will send help your way. Either by connecting Jesus to you directly, or by connecting a man of God or a woman of God that will pull your hand up, that will pull you up to the next level. Frustrating the tokens of the wicked. Frustrating the plans of the wicked. Frustrating the tokens of the wicked. And this is what leads to your testimony. This is what leads to your testimony. So now, when that man in Mark chapter 5 went to talk about what God did in his life, that's what we call testimony. Somebody you testify. Somebody you testify. Somebody you testify. Somebody you testify. testify. When God led Ananias to go and speak to Saul, when God led Ananias to go and speak to Saul, Saul and say that God sent me, the God that met you on the way, sent me. That is testimony. That's another reward for the wicked. God puts a testimony that nobody can argue in your mouth and in my mouth. When Abraham told his son, Abraham told his son, he said that the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. You see, the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. You see, the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. The boy wanted the father, you know, the boy questioned the father. And normally the father should question God. The boy questioned the father. Normally, the father should question God. The boy, Isaac, questioned the father, Abraham. Normally, Abraham should question his God. He questioned his father and said, Father, everything for sacrifice is set. Everything for sacrifice is set. You see, the, 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 power, the power is here now. Everything is set. Everything we need for light and everything. He said, but where's the ram? Where's the ram for the sacrifice? Where's the ram? You see, he questioned the father. And normally, we would not turn and say, God, can you listen to my son? Can you hear, oh God, so where's the love. That's what a natural mind would do. But that is what Romans chapter chapter 12 verse 2 says we should not do. If you are transformed, you will not do it. You will not question God. You will not find a reason to question God because your mind, your mind is renewed. You are transformed and your mind is renewed. Now you know what is good, acceptable and perfect will of God. Within a split second, within a split second, you will not even doubt anything. You will not even be disturbed. You see, Abraham within a split second he didn't even think. He didn't pray for 
for a long time. Within split second, he responded and he did not question God. He responded to Isaac, he did not question God. He spoke in affirmative. He spoke on behalf of God. He spoke, which we will call prophesy. He prophesied. He testified about the power of God. He prophesied and testified about the power of God. And the Lord rose up to the occasion. The Lord rose up to the occasion. What was the statement of Abraham? Abraham said to his son, instead of questioning God, he said, the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. The Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. The Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. Somebody, it's time for you to prophesy. It's time for you to speak. It's time for you to believe God. It's not time for us to question God. Enemy wants us to question God. Enemy wants us to question God. You can imagine what is happening. Can you believe that this kind of thing can happen? That that there will not be, you know, this. The, I mean, the light will go off while the broadcast is going on. But this is what we need to trust God for. When things happen right there and then, just trust God and march on. I mean, it's, it's unthinkable. It happened the other day. It's happening again. You don't question God. You march on. That means there is something God wants to do today to somebody. I don't know who. I don't know who. There's somebody God is speaking to. There's somebody that will get a deliverance. There's somebody. The, the powers of darkness can't stand that. They can't stand that. They can't comprehend that. We are to testify on behalf of God. Somebody please put in. Say, I will testify. I see God using you. I see God backing you up. I see God speaking through you. You will testify. We over come him by the blood of the lamb by the words of our testimony what is your testimony it is testimony and not questioning god it is testimony and not questionnaire it is testimony and not questionnaire or putting god in the box it is testimony somebody what are you testifying what are you testifying and trusting God for. Bible says when you believe with your heart and you confess with your mouth, when you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth, in Jesus name, Bible says when you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth, that salvation will be made available. That salvation will be made available. What are you confessing? What are you trusting God for on this mountain? Man of God, woman of God, what are you trusting God for? Zagadalagaba, jegedelegedelebo, mantelekatalie, makarabatosi, o what are you believing God for? Can you speak like Abraham spoke? Can you speak like Abraham spoke? Can you testify? I will testify. That is the reward of the wicked. That instead of you questioning God, instead of you backsliding, instead of you, you know, disconnecting, you start to testify about the faithfulness of God. You start to tell, I remember how God delivered me three years ago. I remember how God delivered me five years ago. I know that that God will surely come and deliver me and he will rise up to the occasion. Abraham said, I know that this God is going to come through. What are you saying about God, man of God? What are you saying about this God? What is your testimony? You will surely testify. 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 I say you surely won't testify. You will surely testify you will surely testify put in prayer put in prayer prayer put in prayer 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 what is the spirit of god saying through you right now what is the spirit of god saying through you right now you will surely testify your children will testify they shall not disconnect you will not disconnect your family will not disconnect in the name of jesus Christ, share this broadcast on your wall share it in a group share in in groups we a soul for Christ. Share it on your wall, man of God. Share it on your wall. Share it in groups. Share it in groups. Definitely, somebody is meeting with God today on this mountain. Definitely, somebody is meeting with God. Definitely, God is lifting up somebody today in the name of Jesus Christ. And there is nothing that can stop the plan of God in your life. Nothing will stop. Nothing can hinder. Nothing can stop. Nothing can hinder the plans of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Marega dalagaba. Who is that person like the man with the legions of spirit? Who is that person that is that is you know that is persecuted, that is 
persecuted, that has so much in their plate? Who is that person that has so much in their plate? If only you run to Jesus today on behalf of your son, on behalf of your business, on behalf of, I mean, if it is overwhelming, I mean, if it is overwhelming, that man with the legions of spirit, it was too overwhelming for him. It's not a sin to cry to God. It's not a sin to cry and run to God. It's not a sin. Esther and Mordecai, they cried and ran to God for three days. They fasted three days. It's not a sin. You can run to Jesus Christ today. You can run to Jesus today. And if you run to him, he will respond. He will respond and give you a testimony. You can run to him so that he gives you the power not to disconnect. You can run to Jesus Christ today so that he gives you the power to stay focused, to stay loving God. You can run to Jesus Christ today and he'll give you the power to stand up for him. You can run to God today and you will be connected. You will connect. If you run to God today, you will connect. If you run to God today, you will connect. If you run to God today, you will connect. If you run to God, you will connect. Somebody run to God today and present everything to him. I am persuaded that if you receive transformation and the renewing of your mind, then you are able to prove what is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God. You will be able to prove it almost instantaneously. It will happen for you as like, you know, like a natural thing. It will be your natural default in the name of Jesus Christ. Mokari Bantali in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that person? Run to the Lord now. Run to the Lord right now. Run to the Lord and connect. Run to the Lord and connect. Somebody run to Jesus Christ today. Run to Jesus and connect. Run to God and connect. And you, as you run to the Lord to connect, Malibra Gedemo Sikaba, you're living with a testimony. You're living with a testimony. You're living with a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is that person that the Lord is leading to a place and the Lord has he led you to the place, the word of God will come meets you at that point. You see, Saul was led to a place and the word of God came through the man of God to meet him where he is. Man of God, woman of God, this word of God that is coming to you, do not make it waste. Do not let it go into a waste. Allow this word in your life. Paul, Saul allowed Ananias for him to transform from Saul to Paul. Saul allowed Ananias Saul allowed the word Ananias is speaking to enter to permeate him. Somebody allowed the word of God on this mountain to permeate you. Allow the word of God to permeate. Allow the word of God. The word of God that is coming your way. God bless the person who shared this broadcast for you to be part of it. God bless the person who decided to, to tag you or to call you to be part of this. Just allow the word of God to permeate because God wants to reward the wicked. How does he want to reward the wicked? By empowering you. God wants to reward the wicked. How does God want to reward the wicked? By empowering you. By empowering you. By empowering you. Share batali mangagadalagaba urake bato musake. God wants to empower you. God wants to empower you. God wants to empower you. Somebody join me and say, Oh Lord, grant me the power to transform. Daddy, grant me the power to transform. Grant me the power to transform. Oh Lord, grant me the power to transform. May God make you to transform. God make you to transform. Jacan delibra o tare makete brenimo o sateli. May God make you to transform. Rasha. Gadalagaba, Megreten Daliosa, O Rabake Barutoso, Molaken Delicatali. I say, May God help you to, trans to transform in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, I'm a chosen vessel. Hallelujah. Somebody join me. Hallelujah. Somebody join me. Say, I'm a chosen vessel. Ragagagagagagaga, Ragadalagagadalagaba, Rabagadalagaba. Somebody join me. Say, I'm a chosen vessel. Shantere Bantelli, Shantere Bantali, Macadio, O Lak, I'm a chosen vessel. Rubbababa. Manda gadalagaba, roka baba baba baba, gadalagaba. Somebody join me. Say, I'm a chosen vessel. You are a chosen vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. There's so much God wants to use you to do. There's 
There's so much God wants to use you to achieve. There's so much God wants to use you to do. There's so much God wants to use you to achieve in the name of Jesus Christ. If only you will let go and let God. If only you will let go and let God. You are a chosen vessel. You are a chosen vessel. Sharan Talima e Baketelimo Hosandali e Kalo Saketeli. You are a chosen vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. And you measured the rate of what God wants to do in your life by the kind of attack coming your way. It's not coincidental. It is not accidental. It is revealing what God is about to do in your life and what God is using you to achieve. This is what is annoying the powers of darkness. This is what is annoying the powers of darkness. Today is the time to pray and not to play. We are putting all what we studied about, you know, the wicked. You know, Bible said that let them curse. Part of the reward is that they will be cursing, yet God will be blessing you, as we saw in the scripture. Bible said, let them curse. Psalm 109. Let them curse. We were reading. Psalm 109, if you read verse 28, he said, let them curse. But while they curse, God said he will be blessing you. While they curse, the Lord said he will be lifting you up. If you read from verse 21 all the way down to 28, you see the reward of the wicked, that their cursing will not have root in your life. Their cursing will not take root. Their cursing cannot stop nothing. Their cursing cannot turn your life around. Everyone that is carrying ancestral curses, everyone that is carrying ancestral powers, you know, tying things down and holding things back, the Lord will knock down every ancestral power for your sake. The Lord will knock down every ancestral weight for your purpose, for your plan, for your for the will of God to be done in your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Allow the word of God to find man the bake ribadoso hola kadalimo sikatali allow the word of god ne brake telimo ne brake le bratelimo ne brake le bratelimo o baragadala allow the will of god allow the word of god allow the will of god allow the word of god allow the will of god allow the word of god shandara gadala gaba mi brake telebo sikaba in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise god and that's why the the, uh, the apostle said in romans chapter Eight. Let's go back to Romans chapter 8 verse 38. Romans chapter 8 verse 38. This is applicable to only those who have, who are, who have gone through the transformation. Those who have gone through transformation, people who their mind has been renewed. That's what the apostle is talking about here in Romans chapter 8 verse 38. Okay, it says, verse 38, it says, I am persuaded. When God gives you a testimony, then you will be persuaded. Then you will be persuaded. When God gives you a testimony, then you will be persuaded. He said, for I am persuaded that not death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, not height, not depth, not creature, not anything can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I mean, when God puts a testimony in your mouth, then you will be persuaded. Then you can confidently, I mean, when Abraham was talking to his son and say that the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. It was not a guess. It was speaking as somebody persuaded. Somebody, you will get your testimony. Your testimony will drive your persuasion. It will drive your confidence in God. It will drive your belief in God. Belief is not just, you know, gotten without any foundation. Belief is based on something God will deliver unto you. Somebody join me and say, Lord, make me to be fully persuaded. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. The testimony will now become something that will make you to be fully persuaded. And as you confess, the Lord will rise up to your confession. As you confess, the Lord will live up to expectation. The Lord will live up to your confession. The Lord will live up to your expectation. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you confess, the power of God will catch up with you, catch up with your generation. Catch up with you, catch up with your generation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody join me and say, I am fully persuaded persuaded. I am fully persuaded. I am fully persuaded and that can only come through from you and from me when God does what? When God gives us a testimony. Oh Lord, give us a testimony. Father told the son, the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. God Almighty responded instantly. Mothers prophesy to your son. 
prophesy to your daughters. Husband, prophesy to your children. Husband, prophesy to your spouse. Wife, prophesy to your spouse. Man of God, woman of God, prophesy to your business. Tell that business the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. That the plan of the wicked will not, will not come to pass. The plan and the thoughts of the wicked will not come to pass. Somebody prophesy into the life of your business. Prophesy into the life of your marriage. Prophesy into the life of your community. Prophesy into the life of anyone and everyone God has kept you to be a blessing to. Prophesy now in Jesus' name. Prophesy now. Prophesy now. Prophesy now. Prophesy now. And you will surely, in Jesus' name, prophesy and God will rise up to that occasion. Oh Lord, reward your church by giving us a testimony. <laughs> Only fools argue with result. Only fools argue with result. I could imagine those who authorized Saul to go and kill the Christians in Damascus. Finding out now that Saul is now preaching. Look at the dilemma. One that was persecuting is now populating. One that was sent to persecute is now populating. That's God for you. It doesn't change, it doesn't change the vessel. He only changes their destiny. He only makes them to transform. So imagine the one that was persecuting. Imagine his state. And imagine his new state now populating the heaven. To the extent that he was beaten and put in the prison. He was beaten put in the prison and he kept on praising God. I want you to know this kind of transformation. The same Paul that was killing people, now put in the prison in Acts chapter 16, put in the prison because he was caught preaching, because he was preaching the same thing he was killing people for because he's now not more persecuting but populating heaven. They say this man is teaching us customs that are not in application. He's teaching us customs that are foreign to our customs. They put him after being him, taking him to court, beating him, put him in the prison so that he will keep quiet. What is the reward? The reward to the wicked is that Paul did not give up. Paul did not change. Paul in the prison started to praise God. And Bible said that the prison doors gave way. The prison doors gave way. The prison doors tore open because the Lord gave him the grace to carry on. He was persuaded in that God. Even though there was no physical thing happening, they've just beaten him and thrown him into the prison. He kept on praising God and the Lord responded. Today, man of God, today, woman of God, if only you forget about where you are standing, forget about whatever you're going through and allow the power of God, the glory of God to echo through you. Allow the power of God, the glory of God to echo through you. Allow God to grant you the grace to be transformed by the renewing of your mind through his word. Hallelujah. If only you allow the Holy Spirit take over, take control, take control, take over. If only you allow the blood grant you the grace to forgive and forget. If only you allow the blood give you the power to remove bitterness from your heart. If only you allow God give you the power to serve in spirit and in truth, not in eye service. God has a great, God has a great, God has a great reward in talk and you are part of his reward to the wicked. You are part of his reward to the wicked. Paul was part of his reward to the wicked. Paul was part of his reward to the wicked. Somebody put in prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer. Somebody put in prayer, prayer. If if you are persuaded on this mountain, if you are persuaded that the Lord sent you here, if you are persuaded that God has sent you on a mission, right now in Jesus name. Keep focus, man of God. Keep focus. Keep focus, woman of God. Keep focus. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let the power of God come through. Let the power of God come through. Let the mercy of God come through. Let the power of God come through. Let the mercy of God come through. Let the power of God come through. Let the mercy of God come through. Let the grace of God come through. Are you with me, man of God? Are you with me, woman of God? Put in prayer. Put in prayer. Prayer. Put in prayer. 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 I'm watching now for every prayer mandate. I'm agree with every prayer mandate that is coming into the house right now. I'm agree with every prayer mandate. Every prayer coming into the house, I'm agree with God's people right now on this mountain. I'm agree with somebody in the name of Jesus Christ that the power of God, the glory of God, the power of God, the glory.
glory of God. Nothing is hard for him if only you put your confidence in God. If only you put your confidence in him. Jate makosi. Jate makosi kaema. Mashanda ekadalios. Brokali mateli. Manga gagagaga. Matoso kaema. If only you put your confidence in God, nothing is hard for him. Put in your prayer. Put in prayer, prayer. Abraham believed in God and he was not ashamed. Abraham believed in God. There was no shame for him. Everyone that is believing God with me on this mountain for a transformation, for a transformation, for a renewing of your mind. In Jesus' name, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Romans chapter 10 verse 11. They that believe in the scripture, everyone that believe in the scripture shall not know shame. I see God sweep away everything called shame. Sweep away everything called shame. Sweep away everything called shame and embarrassment. I see God sweep it away. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you like that man in Mark chapter 5? Are you like that man in Mark, in, the man in Mark chapter 5, overwhelmed by all the legions of spirit? You need healing? I see the power of God put in your prayer request. Don't ask man. Ask God and see that and see if God will not give you a testimony on this mountain. See if God will not give you a testimony. Focus on God and not man. Focus on God and not man. Put in your prayer mandate. Put in your prayer. Put in your prayer prayer. Put in your prayer prayer prayer. Like that man ran to Jesus Christ. I'm saying that it is very possible and it is allowed. Somebody can be overwhelmed and run to God. You can run through prayers. You can run through praises. You can run by your prophecy like Abraham ran through prophecy by saying the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 they ran to God through praises. Bible said they were praising God in the prison and the, the gates was opened by the power of God. You can run to him through praises. You can run to him through prayer. You can run to him through the power of prayer like Mordecai and Esther. You can run to him through prayer and fasting. Mordecai and Esther ran to God through prayer and fasting that they don't want the wicked to triumph. And the Lord responded. These are the known facts. And Jesus ran to the Father each time whenever persecution is around the corner. He ran to the Father. He prayed and prayed and prayed. The Lord advised Cain and told Cain that sin was at the door, that sin was around the corner, but Cain did not pay attention. Cain did not run to God. That's why Cain fell. That's why Cain committed that sin. That's why Cain fell. But when Cain ran to God in, in Genesis chapter 4, now when Cain ran to God and said that this persecution is so much and would ask for forgiveness, he received forgiveness from God. Somebody, if you run to God, if you run to God, run to God in prophecy, run to God through the word, Cain came to, the, to God through the word. Abraham came to God through the word. And they found mercy. They found mercy. They found mercy. They found mercy. Run to God. Run to God. Run now. And you will find mercy. You will find mercy. You will find mercy. Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 verse 25 ran to God through praises. All they were doing was praises. Jehoshaphat ran to God through praises. He ran to, to God through praises. Gideon and the 300 men. Gideon and the 300 men ran to God through praises. They lifted up the praises. They blew the trumpet. 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 Israel went round the, the walls of Jericho. War, went round the walls of Jericho once for six days and on the seventh day they went seven times. You see they went once every day and on the seventh day they went seven times and when they lifted up praise. When they lifted up praise the walls of Jericho came down. The walls of Jericho came down. The walls of Jericho came down. Mordecai and Esther and all the Jews in Shushan, they ran to God. I'm still on Mark chapter 5, the man that ran to Jesus Christ. They ran to God in fasting and prayer. They ran to God in fasting and prayer. They ran to God in fasting and prayer and the Lord responded. These are the known methods of running to God. Is your business giving you a problem? Is your business now making you to be so downcasted, you are so overwhelmed by all the troubles. Run to God. Don't prove that you can do it yourself. Run to God. Choose any known method from the scripture. Run to God through prayer. Jesus went several times through prayer. Run to God through praises. David ran to God through praises. Paul and Silas went to God in praises. Jehoshaphat went through praise. Gideon and the men went through praise. Even Israel going around the walls of Jericho approached God through praise. 
Go through priests and see if that wall of Jericho will not come down. Also, you can go through the power of the word. I started with that. Abraham went with the word and received mercy. He confessed the word. Cain came by the word and the Lord had mercy. And the Lord put a mark on his forehead that whosoever touched him, he was going to avenge. So these are the method, not philosophy, not hypothesis, not theory, and not questioning God. God is not expecting me and you to question him. Nobody can question God. Nobody can question him. Nobody can question God. He is the almighty. He is sovereign. He is God. He is Lord. Somebody come to the Lord shouting Hosanna in the highest. Come to the Lord shouting Hosanna to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha Omega. Come to him and say you are the faithful God. Who is that person? Make sure you're putting your prayer mandate. Put in your prayer. Put in your prayer. Prayer. Something is happening on this mountain right now. Something is happening. You see, God is showing the, pow the powers of darkness that he is God and whatever he wants to do, he will do. He is God. He is God. Whatever he wants to do, he will do. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The glory of God is here. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The glory of God is here. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a faithful God. So Dalima Ekatelimo, you are a faithful God. Hibaren Delicate, Maroko Sokai, Ijakete Libantali, Orababa, put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer, put in your prayer, prayer, prayer. Somebody we are saying that I will not question God. I will not question God. I will believe God. I will believe to see the glory of God in the land of the living. I will not question God. I will not question God. I will believe to see the glory of God in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody put in your prayer. I see a lot of prayer mandate coming through. I see a lot of prayer mandate coming through. And I see God responding to people right now on this mountain. I see God responding right now to people on this mountain. I see God responding. I see God responding to your prayer, to your prayer, prayer, to your prayer, prayer, prayer. Man delegate. Dalagaba, Zaga Dalagaba, Metele Batosi, Ibrake Delicato, Robake Telibosicaba, O Zale Ekaida, O Zale Ekaida, O Zale Ekaida, Mareke Banto Ketelio, O Ragadalagadayagaba, Mashandaraba E Talimosicaba, Ibre de Gedelimosica, Ebre de Gedelimosicaba, Holy Ghost Power, Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost Power, Holy Ghost. E Dalios, Dele Mosica, E Dalio Pare, Mato Coli Bantali, Ibare Keteli Mosica Bateli, O Ragababa. Who is that person coming to God? Who is that person coming to God? Ne Gadalagadayagaba, Re Bagadalagaba Telimosi, Re Bagadalagaba Telimosi. Who is that person coming to God right now? Who is that person coming by faith to the Lord? Who is that person coming by faith to God right now? In the name of Jesus Christ, put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, are you coming through the power of the word? I know that God will rise up to the occasion. You will meet God and you will meet God. You will meet God. You will meet God at Mashanda Libateli. You will meet God. He's going to give you. Somebody is under the sound of my voice. The Lord want to reward you. Magadalagaba. The Lord want to reward you. Mesheke Teli Bronzi. Mesheke Teli Bronzi Kayaba. The Lord wants to reward you. Make Dalio Saketeli. Make Dalio Saketeli. Make Dalio Saketeli. God wants to reward you. The Lord wants to reward you. Makandalagadalaba. Man God wants to reward you, man of God. God wants to reward you, woman of God. God wants to reward you. Shante Maketeli. Shante Maketeli. O Rabba Ketelimo. Put in your prayer. Man of God, put in your prayer, prayer. Put in your prayer, prayer, prayer. Hallelujah. Haragedelemosikaba. O Ragedelemosikaba. Endeli Bantalimo. O Rabba Gadalimosikateli. O Rabba Gadalimosikabateli. O Rabba Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Something is happening in the spirit. Hallelujah. For everyone that is saying, Sensitive, you can feel it. For everyone that is sensitive, you can feel it. O Rabba Keteli Mosikaba, Endele Keteli Mo, O Zagadalagaba, Meteli Mosikaba. Somebody under the sound of my voice, yokes have been broken right now. Yokes have been broken right now. Yokes have been broken right now. God is going to give you a testimony. That is one of the reward of the wicked. That God will empower you and fill your mouth with testimony and fill your mouth with testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible said that when the church is marching on, that the gates of hell cannot prevail. 
Let me tell you, nothing can stop the glory of God in your life. Nothing can stop the manifestation. Nothing. When God is ready, nothing stops God. Nothing stops God. Nothing stops God. I see you in Jesus' name. I see you testifying. Before this year runs out, there is no carryover in your life. Before this year runs out, there is no carryover. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see you testifying. I see you testifying. I see you testifying. I see you testifying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, I come against every power that wants you to disconnect from God. You will not disconnect. You will not disconnect. You will not question God. You will believe God. No matter what you're going through. As you go through your Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35. As you go through Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35 of your life. As you go through your Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35. Nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. Nothing will separate your family. Nothing will separate your children. Nothing will separate your business. Nothing will separate your career. Nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jacob de Lebatos. Jacob de Lebatos. Nothing will separate you from the love of Christ. No power. Bible says the gates of hell. Matthew chapter 16. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Every gate of hell that wants to prevail against you. Every gate of hell that wants to prevail against your family. Every gate of hell that wants to prevail against your business. Every gate of hell that wants to prevail against the purpose and plan of God in your life. The Lord starts to reward you. The Lord starts to reward you. The Lord starts to reward the enemy. The Lord starts to reward the wicked by giving you a testimony. The Lord starts to reward you. The Lord starts to reward you. The Lord reward the enemy. The Lord reward the wicked by giving you a testimony. As the Lord gave, the, gave Abraham testimony. As God gave Job testimony. And the wicked was rewarded because Job did not disconnect. Because Job did not disconnect. Because Job remained transformed and he kept on working with the renewed mind. He was able to prove what is good, what is acceptable and perfect will of God. Likewise, I prophesy unto you, man of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, the Lord is saying, I should tell you, be careful of what you are going to say. Be careful. If Abraham was not careful, you know, that statement he made, if it was negative, there is a new slogan God has given to me, and I'm practicing it with every with every 100 percent of my mind. No negativity. Somebody, no negativity. No negativity. Learn not to confess any negativity because the enemy is persecuting myself and you so that we can confess negativity. We I mean the power of God is there to activate whatever we say. The book of John, the book of John, chapter chapter 15, verse 20 made us to know. Verse 20 made us to know verse 20. 21. Jesus said they will keep your sin. They will keep your sin because they kept his own sin. You see, so the power of God is there and then the, the, the enemy knowing that the power of God is there to activate what you say and what I say, then the enemy wants us to say something negative. They want us to say something negative. John chapter 15, John chapter 15, remember the word that I said to you, Jesus is saying, the servant is not greater than his Lord, Jesus is saying. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. Jesus is saying affirmatively. If they persecuted me, they'll persecute you. But this is the part that the enemy wants to, to tarnish. This is the part the enemy wants to steal. You see, he says, if they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So the enemy, knowing that myself and you, we have not disconnected, even with all what they have done, they know that we have not disconnected, and they know there's a testimony around the corner. The next thing they start to make myself and you to do is to speak negatively. So somebody join and say no negativity. You will not confess any negativity. If Abraham made the mistake in the moment, in that split moment, to confess negativity, just imagine what would have happened if the, if he had confessed negativity in that moment. In that moment, if Abraham had confessed negativity, imagine what would have happened. Imagine what would have happened. But he said affirmatively, I know, he said the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. Somebody practice it. Somebody connect to it. Somebody practice it. Learn to speak affirmatively. Learn to connect consciously. Learn to connect and say 
positively the things that you are trusting the Lord for. And I see a testimony around the corner for you. I see a testimony around the corner for you. Somebody confessing like Abraham. Somebody confessing like Cain. Somebody confessing like Abraham, confessing like Cain. Bible says in Romans chapter 10 from verse, from verse 9, it says if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth, salvation will be available. Salvation will be available. Salvation will be available. Somebody in the name of Jesus Christ, ribare e talimoso, ribare e talimoso, obare kadalios, ozantele kadalimosikaba. What do you want God to know? What do you want God to do? In your business, what do you want God to do? What do you want God to do? In your family, what do you want God to do? Heaven is waiting to hear you. Heaven wants to hear you. What are you saying? That is the reward of the wicked. God wants to give you a testimony to show the wicked that you will serve him whether good or bad. You will serve him and you will stand by him, but he will reward you. God has never left his own unrewarded. Thank you, Jesus. God has not left his people unrewarded. The Lord is promising he will reward you. The Lord is promising he will lift you up. The Lord is promising The Lord is promising that he will lift you up. He will honor you. He will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. What are you saying, man of God? What are you saying? If they kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Jesus affirmatively told us, if they kept his saying, they will keep yours also. What are you saying? What is your confession. What are you saying? What are your confessions right now? God is ready. The power of God is ready. God is ready. The glory of God is ready. God is ready. The power of God is ready. God is ready. The glory of God is ready. Shande de badagadalaga badalagaba. Mare ke telebo osateli. Mare ke telebo osaketeli. Mikare ndalios. Mikare ndalios shantali. Ubrake baradali e parodosi. Nekare e barado balikaton deli. Mantrele kan Daliba Osake, Ruba Shandalima, Etalio, Hoka Gagagagagaga, Hoka Gagagagagaga, Jegadalagabadalagaba, Rabba Telemosikaba, O Rabba Baba Delio Santali. When the church noticed that James was killed in Acts chapter 12, how did God reward the wicked? The church buried themselves in prayer and the Lord freed Peter. Somebody, there is power when we call upon the name of God. There is power when we pray. There is power when we praise God. And there is power when we stand upon the word. When we release the word. Somebody stand upon the power of the word. Today and release. Release the word. Release the word. I am persuaded. Somebody, you are going to come back like the apostle to say, I am fully persuaded. When God gives you a testimony. When God gives you a testimony. Rabbi Shatalimo. You will come back like the apostle to say, I'm fully persuaded. You will come back to say, I'm fully persuaded. When God gives you a testimony, only fools argue with results. Only fools argue with result. Only fools argue with result. Only fools argue with result. Even to the extent that the demons confirm in Acts chapter 19 verse 15, the demons confirm the transformation that has taken place in the life of Saul into Paul. The demons confirm, they confirm that his mind has been truly renewed. That is the reward of the wicked. That's the reward of the wicked. The wicked was the one confessing that Jesus I know, Paul I know. Very soon the wicked will confess that indeed you are a child of God. Very soon they will confess that indeed your God is God. That is the reward God has for the wicked. I am not preaching a conventional preaching. I am not sent to preach in a conventional way. Somebody said the reward of the wicked, they thought I'm going to itemize it number one. And this is the reward number two. This is the reward number three. That's not how the Holy Spirit has sent me to speak about the reward of the wicked. I am saying affirmatively to somebody under the sound of my voice that God will use you to show the principalities and powers, the many-sided wisdom of God. God will use you to show the many-sided wisdom of God. God will use you to show the many-sided wisdom of God. Affirmatively, you will stand to declare. You will stand to declare. You will stand to decree. You will stand to decree. You will stand to declare. You will stand to decree in the name of Jesus Christ. These demons, the same demons that were using Saul to kill Christians before Acts chapter 9, the same demons now in 10 chapters after Acts chapter 19 verse 15, the same demon for you to see the reward of the wicked. It is this demon that are saying, Paul we know, Jesus we know. The same demons that we are using him. The same demons confirm that his transformation is real and genuine. The same demons confirm that his mind has been truly being renewed. That he now knows, he can now prove what is good. He can now prove 
prove what is acceptable and the perfect will of God. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice that is being persecuted right now. I pray for somebody that is under demonic attacks and demonic yokes that these same demons will turn around to say, now I know. They will say, Jesus, I know, and they will mention your name and say, they know you. They will know you. That's the reward of the wicked. God will show them that you are really, you are really a product of Zion. God will use you to show them that you are really a product of Zion. Demons agreed in Acts chapter 19 verse 15 that indeed Paul has attained somebody under the sound of my voice. All the ancestral powers in your life, all the ancestral powers in your family, all the demonic forces will agree that you, you, are, you don't swallow Jesus. Then go say, yes, this one, he don't swallow Jesus. No be lie. Jesus did inside him. Amen, 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 Jesus Christ. A lady be along with me. A lady me, Jesus. They will confirm that eh, eh, we can't touch this one anymore. Ah, anybody serimele or serima pata. Whoever comes against this one is like colliding with the mountain. It's like colliding with the rock. The demons will testify. They testified about the same soul turned Paul in Acts chapter 19, verse 15. That's the reward God gave to the wicked. God used the same man they were using to persecute the church, to pop the church to the extent that the demons now say we know him he's a confirmed man of god we know him ah in jesus name every demonic forces every demonic power every spirit of manipulation every spirit of poverty diseases and sickness will confirm that they know you hey, yeah, 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 yeah. they will confirm <coughs> They will confirm that they know you. They will confirm that the power of God is in you. They will confirm that the glory of God is working in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mashandaraba. Ibraketelimo. They will confirm in the name of Jesus Christ. We have 10 more minutes to pray. And I want you to focus in these 10 minutes. We are rounding up in 10 minutes in the name of Jesus Christ. Every household enemy, every household enemy, every demonic forces, every demonic forces, every demonic power, every demonic power, every power that keeps bringing about setback, bringing about setback, bringing about pain, bringing about pain, bringing about shame, bringing about shame, bringing about failure, bringing about failure they will testify that you have christ in you they will testify that you have transformed somebody join me to pray let every demon let every power let every household enemy testify about the glory of god in my life about the power of god in my life about the grace of god in my life oh lord let them what let them testify oh lord let them what let them testify is Santalimosi. Let them testify. Let them testify. Let them testify. Let them testify. Magaga Dalagaba. Bareke Telimosi Kaba. Rubareke Telio. Hosan Talimo. Let every power of darkness. Let every power of evil. Let every power of darkness. Power of evil testify that indeed God is at work in my life. That God is at work in our life. That God is at work in the life of our lovers. That God is at work in the life of our children. That God is at work in any area and every area God has called you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never know the meaning of pain. You will never know the meaning of shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody will have about eight more minutes to go. Make sure you're focused in this moment. Make sure you're focused in Jesus' name. Thank God for everyone that have been focusing all along because the church is praying. Because the church is calling on God. Because the church is marching on. And when the church is marching on, the gates of hell cannot prevail. In Jesus' name, the gates of hell cannot prevail. Are you under the sound of my voice? It's time for you to march forward. It's time for you to testify. Somebody Somebody start to claim your testimony. The Lord said, I should tell somebody, claim your testimony. Abraham claimed his testimony by faith. He claimed his testimony by faith. He said the Lord will provide the lamb for the sacrifice. He said it by faith. Somebody claim your testimony by faith. 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 Claim the testimony of your son by faith. Claim the testimony of your daughter by faith. Claim the testimony of your business by faith. Claim the testimony of your community by faith. Claim it is Jesus. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. The man with the issue, the man with 
the issue of demons, the man with the legions of spirit went to Jesus to claim his healing, ran to Jesus to claim his healing. Somebody run to God and claim your healing, run to God and receive your transformation. Esther Mordecai ran to God, they ran to God, they went to God in fasting and they received from the Lord. Today, as you run to God in Jesus' name, may the Lord reward you and reward the enemy with your success, reward the enemy with your testimony as you run to God today in the name of Jesus Christ. Rabba Kato Sikaba. Bible said that whosoever cometh unto him, he will not in any wise cast away. He will not cast away. He will not cast away. Anyone and everyone that runs to him, he will not cast away. Are you running to God today? If you run to man, you will receive from man. But if you run to God, you will receive from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Mandrelegedelegede. Mato Sokaba. We have six more minutes to go. Bato Sokaba. Six more minutes Put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer. Man de legada, Iba de lega, O Ragaba Shantoska, Metreke Lebateli, Nentreleman Candalio. Somebody come by the words of your mouth, like Cain came with the words of his mouth. He came by the words of his mouth and received mercy. He received mercy from God. And the Lord put a mark on him that nobody touch him anymore. Nobody touch him and nobody disconnects him from him. Bible said that anyone who kills him, anybody who touches him, God said, I will avenge seven times. That is it. Somebody, you, rather than disconnecting, connect even more to God. Connect even more. Start to discover the gifts of God in your life. Start to discover how to make use of the Holy Spirit. Start to discover how to make use of the Holy Spirit. Start to discover the glory of God in your life. There's another level. There's another level. Rather than running away, rather than missing it, rather than doubting, why not move to another level of faith? Why not move to another level of faith to the extent that the demons will say, Jesus, we know, Paul, we know. Ah, the same Paul that they were using to to kill Christians. The same Paul they were using to kill. Now that same um, that same Paul is now bringing people to the knees of Christ to now kneel before Christ. The same Paul that was killing people is now making people kneel before Christ. The same Paul that was persecuting the church is now populating the church through the word, through the same word that he was antagonizing. Somebody, transformation is possible. Transformation is possible. I see God transforming your life, transforming your business, transforming your family, transforming your son, transforming your daughter, transforming everything, transforming our community and nation, transforming this our world from this era of pandemic. I see the power of God is able to transform. The power of God is able to transform and bring about a renewing of the mind. A renewing of the mind. A renewing of the mind so much that we are able to prove what is good, what is acceptable and the perfect will of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We have five Five more minutes to go, man of God, woman of God. Five more minutes. Meteli Brantalio, Mashake Le Batalie, Horaga Baba. Five more minutes. Put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer. Focus on God. Forget about any other distraction. Forget about any other distraction. When Paul and Silas were praising God in Acts chapter 16, verse 25, Bible said that they were so engrossed in the praise and worship, they did not even know. They did not know when the gate opened and the chains fell off from their hand and all the hands of those in the prison. That is the reward of God to the wicked. That is the reward of those, that is the reward of God to those who set up Paul. To those who made Paul to be put into the prison. That was the reward God gave to them. The Lord make everyone in the prison to give their life to Christ. He was preaching and they stopped him preaching outside. Then the Lord decided to save the life of everyone in the prison, including the prison warder. Including the prison warder. Because the Bible says he came and knelt down and said, I want to have what you have. I want to have what you have. That's the reward of God to the wicked. People will hold on to you. People will hold on to your skirt. People will tell you, please, I want to have what you have. I want to know the God that you know. I want to serve the God that you are serving. That was what Ruth said to Naomi. Look at all the calamity around Naomi. Look at all what happened to Naomi. The son... The husband died, two sons died. Yet Ruth said, I want to know your God. I want your God to be my God. I see God bringing people to you to say, I need your kind of testimony. I want to have this testimony. I want to serve this God like you are serving God. I want to know God the way you know God. I want to know God if possible more than you. I want to know God in truth and in spirit. This is the testimony God is giving. This is how the Lord is making the enemy to be ashamed. This is how the Lord is checkmating the enemy in your life, in my life. Rather than disconnecting his 
making us to connect even more. Four more minutes to go. Make sure you're not wasting this time because exactly four minutes from now, by the grace of God, we'll be rounding up this prayer. Make sure you're getting your prayer mandate in. Just push it in. If you do not, if you see a prayer mandate you love so much on this mountain, tapping is allowed. All you need to do is copy and paste. Just copy that which you have seen that, uh, that you love so much and paste under your name. Bare Italio. No saketeli. Ibrandali Kosikaba. Put in your prayer, put in your prayer, prayer. Put in your prayer, prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ne zagadalagaba. Ne zagadalagaba. Ne zagadalagaba. O rabba e prano zikatali. He prano saketeli mosikaba. O rabba. O Lord, help me to believe. O Lord, help me to believe. O Lord, help me to believe. O Lord, help me to believe and not to question you. Somebody, you're under the sound of my voice. All you do best is question God. Leave that level and get transformed now. Get transformed to the level whereby you are trusting God upon trusting God. You are trusting God upon trusting God. You are trusting God upon trusting God. Get to that level now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, you want to get serious with God. Get serious to, with God to a point whereby people say, I want to know your God. I want to serve God the way you are serving God. Get serious with God to a point whereby you become a source of inspiration and not a source of demoralization. You not become a source of demoralization. You become a source of inspiration. Inspiration. God wants to use you to inspire people. God wants to use you to inspire people. God wants to use you as a source of inspiration. Inspiration. Not demoralization. Not demoralization. Not making people feel, oh, serving God is a waste of time. Serving God is it just, it just, it's just it not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't bring anything good. No, let people hold on to you. Irrespective of your Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35. When Naomi was going through her Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35, Ruth still held on to her skirt and said, I want to serve your God. Somebody received this kind of testimony. Receive this kind of testimony that even in persecution, you are still winning souls for God. Even in persecution, your life is still standing out for God. Even in persecution, everybody can still see the genuineness of God in your life. This is not playing holier than thou. And this is not playing, uh, I'm, the, I'm the one God is speaking through. This is just allowing God breathe through you. This is just allowing the joy of God echo through you. Who is that person under the sound of my voice? Can can God count on you? Can God count on you? Are you going through the Romans chapter 8 verse 31 and 35 of, of your life? I pray that you will come to verse 38. You will now speak like the apostle. For I am fully persuaded. For I am fully persuaded that nothing can separate me. Nothing can disconnect me. Nothing can undo my transformation. Nothing can disconnect me. Nothing can undo my, my renewing of the renewing of my mind. Nothing can undo it. Nothing can undo it. I have two more minutes for this session. We have two more minutes for this session. Somebody get your prayer in quickly. Get your prayer in quickly during this live session. Get to a point whereby even the demons will say, we know him. Ha! We know Jesus, we know this one. This one has truly transformed. This one has the spark this one has the power. This one has the spark. From today, when you pass, demons will sneeze in Jesus' name. When you pass, demons will run because of the power of God in your life. Because of the power of God in your life. Because of the power of God that you carry. When you speak, demons will sneeze. When you speak, demons will run. When you speak, heaven will respond in the name of Jesus. Everyone that is trusting God and not man. I am not talking to those who are trusting man. I am talking to those who are trusting God and not man. Today, the Lord respond to your prayer. Today is the day of praying and not playing. And when we pray, nothing can stop us. When we pray, nothing can hinder us. When we pray, Bible says that the gates of hell cannot stand against us. From today, as you go out, I prophesy, you will increase, you will not decrease. As you go out to face the world, you will have testimonies upon testimonies. As you go out, you will not doubt God. I enter into the spirit and I receive the unction of the apostolic and I release upon somebody. I receive the unction of the apostolic. I release upon somebody. I receive the unction of the apostolic. I release on somebody. You will not question God. You will not question God. You will not question God. You will believe upon belief upon belief. 
And as you go through even your Romans chapter 8, verse 31 to 35, I am saying in Jesus' name, more souls will be won. So much that Acts chapter 19, verse 15 will be true in your life. The demons will say, this one, we know. We know Jesus, we know they will mention your name. Paul, we know Jesus, we know. They will be convinced in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over somebody under the sound of my voice. I enter into the spirit. I say you will not disconnect. The more the enemy is trying to get you to disconnect, the more you will connect to God. The more the manifestation of the power of God, the more the manifestation of the glory of God, the more the manifestation of the gift of God, the more the manifestation of the joy of God, the more the manifestation of God's prosperity, the more the manifestation of the word of God, the more the manifestation of the joy of God in the name of Jesus Christ. You are like a well that will never run dry. The Lord says I should tell you, you are like a well that will not run dry. The Lord is bringing your blessings again. Double, double. The Lord is bringing, I hear this clearly for somebody under the sound of my voice. The Lord is bringing every year that the canker worm and the caterpillar has eaten. The Lord is restoring unto you double, double, double. The Lord is restoring unto you and your household. Double, double, double. Get set in the name of Jesus Christ. I hear this for somebody that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand side that nothing will come near you. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked because the Lord will reward the wicked by lifting you up. The Lord will reward the wicked by making sure that there's a testimony in your mouth. The Lord will reward the wicked by making sure that his power is fully demonstrated when you stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Bible said that he leaded us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Somebody under the sound of my voice, as you step out from this mountain, from today, the Lord lead you, the Lord guide you in Jesus' name. From today, as you leave this mountain, the Lord lead you, the Lord guide you, the Lord guide your decision making, the Lord guide your decision taking, the Lord guide the words of your mouth, the Lord guide your prophecies, the Lord guide your wish, the Lord guide everything that you are involved in, the Lord guide even all that is connected to you, all your basket, the Lord guide, all things that are connected to you, the Lord guide in Jesus' name, the Lord take over, the Lord lift you up, the Lord honor you, no more will you weep, no more will you shed tears of sorrow, sorrow is over in your life, lack and want is over in your life, in the name of Jesus, that's the reward of God to the wicked, by lifting you up, by lifting you up, by lifting you up. I, Jeremiah 33 verse 2, the Lord said that he's the one who formed you, the maker, you see your maker, he said the, the Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord formed you to establish it. In 33 of Jeremiah 30, 33 verse 3, I mean to say, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, ask of me, ask of me, ask of me, he said, call upon me and I will answer you. Call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not. Ask of me, somebody as you are asking, the Lord respond. The Lord respond. The Lord show you. I, there's somebody under the sound of my voice. The Lord says you bind every negativity that you have spoken and you did not take note. That negativity has started to manifest. That negativity is manifesting in the life of your children. Please be careful. Be careful. Be careful. The enemy is looking for how to tear down that family. Don't make it easy for them. Don't make their job easy. Don't make their project easy. Be careful. I, I enter into the spirit. I receive the power of the apostolic and I bind every negativity, every pronounced negativity over children, over business, over homes, over community, every negativity. I ask that the spirit of God, I ask that the Holy Spirit will lift up a standard against every negativity. Manifesting right now in businesses. Manifesting right now in businesses. Manifesting right now in marriages, manifesting right now in marriages, manifesting right now in the life of children, manifesting right now in the life of children, manifesting financially, manifesting financially, manifesting emotionally, manifesting emotionally, manifesting spiritually, manifesting spiritually, the Lord set you free. The chains are broken. Every ancestral curses that have been a generational thing is broken today. In Jesus' name, the Lord make you the first person in that lineage to be free because you believe. Because you believe. The Lord make you the first person.
person to be set free in that lineage because you believe. Because you believe. Because you believe. The Lord make you the first person to break that chain because you believe. In the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of God is upon your life. The joy of God is upon your life. You will go out in peace. You will come back in peace. The Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord will make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. In the name of Jesus, you shall not die. The last thing I should tell somebody, you will not die. Your family, you will not die. You will not die, they will not die. In Jesus' name. But you shall live to declare the glory of God. You shall not die. You shall not die. You shall not die. But live to declare the glory of God. This year in your life, there can never be a carryover. Even if it is one day, one hour, hour, one minute, one second left, the Lord will bring fulfillment maximally into your life and your family and your community and nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord will bring maximum fulfillment into your life, into the life of your children, into the life of your family, your business, your community. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord bring fulfillment to your life, into the life of your children, into your community, into your business, into your life, into your surrounding, into your nation, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be in Jesus' name. If you would like to give your life to Jesus Christ, stretch forth your hand towards me. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I confess any sin and every sin that I have committed, knowingly and unknowingly. Please say with me in Jesus' name. Say, may the blood of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit cleanse me from every unrighteousness as I denounce, as I reject, as I denounce and reject every sin and ask for mercy through the blood of Jesus Christ. Say with me, every covenant that I have entered into consciously or unconsciously. Let every covenant be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus, the blood of, Je blood of Jesus. Say, I believe in my heart Jesus died for me, was buried for my sake, and for my sake he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart, I confess with my mouth, and so I find salvation. Wherever you may be, man of God, woman of God, join me. Say, I am born again. Join me. Say, I am born again. Join me. Say, I am born again, and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. If you like to dedicate your life, say with me, say, I dedicate. Say with me, say, I dedicate. Dedicate. Say with me, say, I dedicate my life unto you, Alpha, Omega, and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Alpha, Omega, beginning and the end, faithful God, I come before you. I want to thank you for your church. I want to thank you for every prayer mandate. I want to thank you for everyone that has given their life unto you. I ask, oh God, that you bring, oh God, the right set of people into their way, into their life, that they may grow according to your word, that it perfect the transformation taking place and the renewing of their mind, that they may be able to prove that which is good, which is up, which is good, which is acceptable, and the perfect will of God, even as the journey in this Christian faith, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, take away the mind that wants to question you from us, and grant us the heart that believes upon belief. Grant us the power, O oh God, that is connecting us more and more unto you, and not disconnecting. And that it bring testimony, O oh God, that will make us to be fully persuaded. That will make us to be fully persuaded. That will make us fully persuaded. Whether people run to you like the man that came to Jesus Christ in Mark chapter 5. Or people come to you in the place of prayer like Esther and Mordecai came in the book of Esther chapter 3, chapter 4. In three day fasting and prayer. Or they will confess like our father Abraham confessed and said that you are going to provide the lamb for the sacrifice. Or even like Cain came to you through the words of his mouth and you forgave him his sin and put a mark on him. Father, if people, are, whether people are coming through the power of prophecy, the word of God, or coming through the power of prayer, or coming through the power of praise, like Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 verse 25, oh Lord, give unto your people the reward of testimony, that the enemy may know that you are a faithful God, in the name of Jesus Christ, every prayer mandate, Jehovah is soaked with the blood of Jesus Christ, everyone that is being persecuted, everyone that is going through pain or shame, everyone that is under the power of infirmity, sickness of any kind, any form of ill any form of disease, Lord, let it be broke. Let such yokes be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Ancestral causes is broken. Demonic spells are broken. Demonic spells are broken. Evil prophecies are broken. Evil confessions are broken. Negative confessions are broken by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the Holy Spirit on this mountain here and now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. Everyone in the hospital, prison home, I ask for your mercy, I ask for your grace, and I ask for the power that will revive every man according to your perfect will. I pray for the doctors and nurses and everyone using, oh Lord, in the front line to do your will. I want to thank you for every father, every mother. I want to thank you for everyone that shared the broadcast. I want to thank you for everyone supporting what you're doing on this mountain. I want to thank you, oh God, for your word. I want to thank you for your presence and I want to thank you for making us a church that cannot be stopped because you said the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Thank you for making this broadcast to come to an end the way you want it to come to an end. Even with all the prevailing circumstances, thank you for making today's message real. Lord, this light has gone for this long. It has never gone for this long. But thank you for making the message real. That even Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 35 that is happening right now is not disconnecting us from what you intend us to achieve today on this mountain. What a wonderful practical way to bring your word to life for your church. I know this will be a memorial in the hearts of as many that had the privilege by you to be here in this live broadcast. I thank you because you have taught us something and we will continue with what you have taught us. We will not look back. We will not look back. We will not look back. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful God. I give you praise. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. <coughs> May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, upon your house, upon whatsoever you am finding to do, upon whosoever is connected to you by blood. May the Alpha, Alpha, Omega, Omega, beginning and the end grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace. The Lord grant you peace now and forevermore. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Hallelujah. Praise God. I want to appreciate you people. You people are wonderful men and women of God. I am so happy that God connected me with people like you who did not even mind the circumstance, who did not even mind the situation that has developed, you are still focused on prayer and may God that you pray to in spirit and in truth grant you a testimony as a reward and make the wicked around you to know that he is God and he is Lord. I am so proud all of, of all of you and I know God is proud of us. Be very focused today and pray till the very end. God bless you. God honor you. Indeed, it can only be God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want to plead with anyone who is watching us in the YouTube. So if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, we will plead with you to type Unbounded House and search for Unbounded House in the YouTube and then please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Press that red button right now and also press the bell, okay? So subscribe to the YouTube channel, praise God, and we are going to start the Whisper Talk Show very soon so that you'll be aware when we start and you can get notification. And also when you make comments, we can, you know, respond to your comments in real time. God bless you. If you're watching this broadcast in any other platform apart from Facebook, we are having this live broadcast Podcast in on Facebook and to get to the page where we are having it, all you need to do is type at Jumbo is song as one word at J U M B O I S O N G. Type it into the search engine of Facebook, search for it. The name of the page will come up Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP. PPP means praise, preaching, and prayer. Please like and follow the page. That way you will know whenever we are online. And you can, whenever you make comments, I'm able to read it and I'm able to get notification in real time. God bless you. God honor you. Thank you for praying with the apostle. Thank you for coming to spend time with the apostle. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. This is going to be a very great weekend. It's going to be a very, it's a new beginning for somebody. Even with all what we have received today, I know your life and my life, our life will never remain the same again. God bless you. God honor you. I appreciate appreciate you. I appreciate you. God bless you. Permit me to sign up my usual way. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil. Rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you all. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit and I'm saying shalom. God bless you. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, bye-bye. God bless you. Shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Everyone, shalom. I can see beautiful comments you can see everyone in the house the house is really really full and the house is hot 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 god bless you god bless you keep on praying for the apostle the apostle is praying for you the lord will see us through these times and is going to continue to lift us up and honor his word in our life shalom god bless you bye-bye god bless you it's a faithful god hallelujah 
it can only be God, it can only be God, it can only be God, shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Brenda Abayomi, God bless you. Ubon Abasi. Ubon Abasi, Indemeke, God bless you. Ubon Abasi, Uko, God bless you. Mrs. Akonji, God bless you. Let me see if I can see a few people. PSOB, I, I saw your typing earlier on. God bless you. I appreciate you, man of God. Let's see how many people that can quickly type. Connie, oh, I can see your, your message. God bless you. Let me just see if I can say, give a shout out to a few more people. Hallelujah. God bless you. Kaneza Claudine. KC, God bless you. Kola, God bless bless you. God bless you. Call her. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm trying to see everyone now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Terry, God bless you. Terry, I can see Terry. God bless you. I saw Shamika Smith earlier on. I saw Shamika Smith earlier on. I saw Orlando. <laughs> shalom to everyone. Shalom, shalom, shalom. If I'm not able to call your name, please pardon me. Don't be angry with the apostle. I love everyone. I love all of you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Who is there? Yeah, Shamika Smith is still around. Okay. Girl, God bless you. God bless you. Put in prayer mandate for everyone. That's so sweet. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Yay. Naomi M. Naomi, so you're still around. Praise God. That's beautiful. I know Naomi will be laughing now. She just be laughing. Naomi laughs. Very, if you hear Naomi laughing, you will join her to laugh. I know she's laughing right now. I say, Apostle, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.